Backyard. The Backyard. The Backyard. The Backyard. The Backyard. The Backyard. The Backyard Woodshop. Hi, welcome back to the Backyard Woodshop. I'm Tom Ryder. Today, we're doing a 2018 shop tour. Um, let me know what you think, and let's begin the tour. So right here, we walk in the doorway. I've got a ladder that I, small step ladder that I carry. I keep on that door. And then as you pan around, I've got my shopsmith there. And uh, above it is uh, just the accessories that I keep on the pegboard. Uh, up above that, I've got a uh, lumber rack. And then as we spin here, you can see right here in the very front, uh, I've got my table saw. And then towards the back there, we've got different uh, accessories hanging on the wall, along with my Craig router table, my new Incra table. Um, up above that, we've got more lumber storage. As we pan around this way, you can see I've got my shop heater up there, uh, some tables for the shopsmith, there's a jointer there in the corner, um, lathe chisels, just a ton of stuff that I keep on the walls and because it's pegboard I can move it anywhere I want. And as we kind of pan around a little bit more, uh, you can see I've got my um, wrenches and excess saw blades, things like that up on the wall. And now you can see my uh, Hitachi miter saw. I've just got it setting up on these cabinets and uh, made some standoff tables for uh, using that for holding up material. And then that's where my uh, miter saw stop clamps onto and I can make precise cuts with that. Um, as you pan around just to this part right here, I've got my rigid sander and uh, just some miscellaneous cabinets and things like that. So, and there's a hammer holder there as well. Alright, so if we were to enter the door and turn to the left, then the first thing you would see on the second door, because I have five foot door entry there, uh, I've got a four foot um, little step for painting or what I use it for in the shop is somebody who's shorter because I like a tall bench they could stand on that or a small child or if I'm working on a carcass or something and I want to get above it I can stand on that and then uh, you see I've got a clamp rack here with all my smaller clamps it's got multiples uh, planes hanging on the wall the air conditioner um, got all my squares and things just uh, hanging there uh, then I uh, built one of the J-Bates uh, paint racks. That thing is uh, very handy. I really appreciate him uh, designing that. And I followed his pretty much to the letter. The only thing I did different was uh, added a box on the side for gloves. And then another box for small plastic bags. And then uh, I've got all my workbenches. There's the newfangled workbench there in the front. And then I've got a Husky. Uh, workbench behind that and then another uh, workbench on wheels just for storage multiple hand tools and things hanging on the wall uh, one big things I, I like is that tide container that's there I've got that filled with just water for uh, you know clean up or anything down here because I don't have a water source so I just fill that up and it's got a spigot that I can just uh, dispense water and then I've moved my Nova lathe over there into the corner again. Uh, I'm still trying to find a permanent spot for it, but right now that seems to be working pretty well. Uh, then I've got multiple cabinets full of tools and things like that. Uh, up on the top there, we've got uh, my bar clamp rack. And then as we turn here, we're back, and then you can see the... Uh, Saw till that I've got, the gravity holding saw till, those things work great. That's from Tab Left Workshop. Uh, it's his design. It's a great design, it works fantastic. Um, and then, as you can see right here in front of the saw, I'll pan the camera down. I've got my big outfeed table, slash, it can be a router table. And uh, this thing is a beast. I love this thing. Uh, it's all built from recycled materials and it works great. Well that's going to end it for this video. I appreciate you sticking around to the end. I hope you learned a few things along the way. 
Uh, if you have anything you'd like to tell me, you can do that in the comments section below. Or you can email me at backyardwoodshop at gmail.com. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you a subscriber. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And until the next time, I see you in the backyard.